Okay, thanks, Kevin. And tonight we are getting a clearer picture of the severe storms that barreled through different parts of central Indiana Monday night, spawning tornadoes and causing extensive damage in multiple areas. So far, the National Weather Service has confirmed four tornadoes, one in Pendleton, another in Grant County, a tornado in Miami County, and one in Henry County. And we begin in Pendleton, maybe the hardest hit area of all. A tornado destroyed homes and ripped up trees and brought down power lines there. We also have a crew in Grant County, another spot hit by a tornado. We begin our team coverage with Stephanie Wade. She's live in Pendleton. Now, Stephanie, you've been seeing the damage and speaking with those affected all day. Yeah, Mark and Amanda, we were here last night right after that now confirmed EF2 tornado touched down here in Pendleton, but it was dark out. It was hard to see because the power was knocked out in really every direction that you looked. But now back here today in the daylight, we are having a better look here at the damage and just how widespread it is. Damage, take a look here like this. Look at this car. You can see where the tree uprooted and just crashed right on top of this car here. Thank goodness no one was inside. Several large trees just like this around town were also tossed across yards, onto houses, and power lines. Today, the familiar sound of chainsaws throughout the streets as people begin to clean up and crews cut down trees that fell on top of power lines. But the main focus for emergency management here is to restore power. Right now, an estimate estimated 1,500 to 2,000 people are still without power here in Pendleton. The street department crews are doing a good job getting streets opened up here. They don't have necessarily two lanes of traffic opened up quite yet, but they are making progress here in Madison County. Now, I spoke with people today who were here when that tornado ripped through. Take a listen to what it was like. We are going down into the basement, and my wife watched the tree fall as we were closing the hatch for the cellar. We had to evacuate last night because of the gas leaks, so we actually had to leave the home, and we came back this morning, and this is what we saw. And it really is incredible. There were no serious injuries, only one minor injury after the storm. Now I asked the Madison County Emergency Management Director why he thinks that is. I credit it to about three things. Number one, the National Weather Service got warnings out. They told us all day long that severe weather was coming. Emergency management, we shared that message. And you folks, our media partners, your meteorologists, your stations got the word out that severe weather's coming. We were able to communicate that to the public and we were able to say, hey, the storm is coming, take shelter. Now, beginning at 6 o'clock, people who live east of Pendleton Avenue here, you are allowed back into your homes. So they've extended that perimeter there. But people, however, who live west of Pendleton Avenue, they want you to stay away. If you are in your homes, stay inside because it is still dangerous on the streets here. Now, our Alyssa Donovan was also here today in Pendleton. She continues our team coverage.